This recipe is for the fudgiest chocolate brownie cake you've ever had. So what's this guy doing here? No butter, no oil, just a whole bunch of eggplant. And that is strictly for moisture and makes it incredibly delicious and fudgy. Steaming contraptions are nice to have for steaming anything. Even if you don't have like a proper pot and steamer basket, obviously you can rig it in one way or another. All you wanna make sure of is that you have like enough water that it won't boil dry down below, a colander that sits in it, and then a lid that nests in there snugly so that you won't have a ton of steam escaping out these holes on the sides. And that totally works as a steamer basket. Now, that steamed eggplant is going in here to blend with some chocolate. So you have to do this while the eggplant is still hot so that it'll, <laughs> it'll make funny noises when it lands in the blender and also so that you can melt the chocolate. Check this out. So already the chocolate's melting, the eggplant's in there super steamy. Now as soon as we blend it, it's gonna turn into a really smooth batter. Okay, come check this out. <laughs> just as is, that's just a super silky chocolate pudding. So, bonus recipe right there. So the first step is just turning our chocolate pudding into a batter with the help of some normal cake friends. So this is supposed to cool a tiny bit, just so you don't scramble your eggs when you're putting them in. This is a good time to show you the Farm Cooking School cookbook, and I don't have the page marked. Okay, Ian Knauer at the Farm Cooking School came up with this because he just had way too much eggplant on the farm, and this book is full of recipes like that. And I think we can start making batter now. So it's cocoa powder for more chocolatiness, almond flour, baking powder for leavener, a teeny tiny bit of flour, honey as the sweetener, which actually gives a lot of fairly strong honey flavor. So if you didn't want the honey flavor, you could swap in something like golden syrup, three eggs, and a little salt. And there's very little risk of over whisking this because there's only a tablespoon of flour. So you just wanna make sure it's nice and smooth. And I think it is. Looks like brownie batter. Batter's done. Let's bake it. So these just have to bake for about 15 or 20 minutes. Um, so off I go. <laughs> you guys didn't need to see me whipped cream again, did you? Should I go ahead and, and plate? Yeah. Okay, great. The fudginess is already very clear. Like a pretty, like a big blob. <laughs> it's just honestly very, very crazy to me that you can get this texture with no oil and no butter for no other reason than the eggplant is doing all the work. You don't need it. Pretty dang good. Not some? 